Hello everyone. Today I will be explaining a chapter from class 7 Maharashtra SSC Board Science. Let's begin. Can you help me identify the following minerals? You may pause the video and think of your answers and then go ahead. Once you're ready, play the video to know the answers. Here we go. So the first one is graphite. Your pencil lead is made of graphite. Second one is gold and quartz. The third one is talc. You usually see them in the talcum powders that you apply. The fourth one is coal. These are very commonly found minerals which we see and hear about in our daily lives. I hope you got all of them right. So today I will be telling you all more about natural resources. What are natural resources? To know more about natural resources, we must know about the interior of the earth. We get most of the resources on earth from the crust, which is the topmost layer and the most thinnest as well. The earth's lithosphere is made up of land and hard crust. The lithosphere and in turn the crust is not homogeneous. That means it is not uniform. It is made up of many types of rocks. Also, these different kinds of rocks inhibit different resources. Natural resources are those resources that are found in the environment and are developed without the intervention of humans. They include minerals, ores, fuels, rocks, elements, etc. For example, rock salt. Deposits of common salt are also found in the earth's crust. This is called rock salt. It is used in food and for medicinal purposes. Then fossil fuels, which are most demanded, non-renewable and expensive resources. These are natural gas, petroleum and coal. We also have renewable resources such as solar energy, wind, water, etc. Anything which has a potential to be used by us is a resource. Some important minerals like diamond, ruby, sapphire, emerald, jade, zircon are used as gems. They are in great demand as we know. Next, let us learn more about ores and the minerals extracted from them. Minerals are solid substances that are present in the nature and can be made of one element or more elements combined together. Gold, silver and carbon are elements that form minerals on their own. That is why they are called native elements. These minerals are formed by various processes taking place in the environment. These are obtained by mining. Minerals that contain high proportion of metals are called ores. Now there are two steps how metals are obtained from their ores. This is by extraction and purification and the leftover impurities of sand and soil in the ore are called gang. Different minerals have different properties such as their characteristic color. For example, you can see the color of gold and silver. They are known by that color itself. Next is luster. It is the shine that the mineral gives out. For example, diamonds give a non-metallic vitreous luster. Metals such as copper, aluminium, etc. give a metallic luster. Then we have hardness. By now we all know that all minerals are not the same. Some minerals break easily while others take so much effort to break them. You can see the most scale of mineral hardness that I have put up here. 
In this scale, number 1 depicts the softest mineral, which is talc. As we go further in the scale, the hardness of the mineral increases. The hardest mineral, as you can see, is the diamond, which is at number 10. Yes, diamond is the hardest mineral found on earth. Minerals have distinct shapes, for example, the mineral halite. It is found in cubic shape. You can see six different shapes of different minerals. Cleavage or fracture, it is how the minerals split or break. Then streak, when you rub a sample of mineral on a surface, whose hardness is greater than that of the mineral itself. In doing so, it leaves a fine line of powder on the plate, which is known as streak plate. The color of the mineral is different from that of the mineral sample itself. The color which you see on the streak plate is the true color of the mineral. Next, we will study more on ores. The first one is iron ore. So there are four different types of ore found in the nature that we are going to study today. Magnetite, hematite, siderite and limonite. Iron ore is used to make variety of articles from pins to heavy machinery. For example, farming implements, rails of the railway tracks, and you can give me more examples by writing in the comment section. Next, we have mica. Mica is a bad conductor of electricity and the value in the market depends on the thickness of its layers. Mica, as you can see in the picture, they are layered minerals. Mica has many uses in Ayurvedic medicines, dyes, electric machines and equipments, wireless communication equipments, etc. The next, can you guess which metal it is? Here is the ore. It's copper. Copper is found in the impure state in the vicinity of iron and other minerals. They are found clubbed with other minerals. Copper is a very good conductor of electricity. That is why they are used in cables and wires. They are used to make electric wires as well as they are used in components of radios, telephones, vehicles and for making kitchen utensils and statues. Then next we have bauxite. Bauxite is the most important ore of aluminium. Bauxite contains 55% of aluminium and they mostly contain aluminium oxide. Aluminium is a very good conductor of electricity and heat. Also, its density is very low. That is why sometimes you will see that a plate made of aluminium floats on water. Because of its low density, it is used in airplanes, transport vehicles and also in electrical wires. Next we have manganese. Manganese occur in the form of carbonate, silicate and oxide. Their Compounds are used in medicines and for giving a pink tinge to glass. Manganese is also used in electrical appliances. Up next, we have questions. Can you answer these? Why are all minerals not ores? What is meant by metal, mineral and non-metal mineral? Write the names of five minerals and the useful substances obtained from them. 
name the two important stages in the processes of obtaining metals from ores. How did the various ages of the prehistoric period get their names on the basis of the use of metals? Prepare your answers and put them in the comment section. In the next video, I'll be discussing more on these. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.